So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover this amazing lab so first of all you have to just click on start now and here if you want to enable this yellow check my progress bar you can check the description box for this video now here many of you are facing issue that you can see here the data sharing partner project is not visible over here basically not highlighted in that case you have to just refresh the browser window and wait for it because sometimes what happens the resources are still being provisioned so you need to wait for it then we will just complete it so here you can see now it's showing provisioning the resources so just wait for it after that we'll move forward to the task number one from here just open the data sharing partner project via incognito window you can see over here the first one you have to just open it incognito window like this okay and then you have to enter the username over here and then add the pass carefully select and then next now here just follow as i am doing basically first of all click on i understand and then if you get any kind of other pop-up just click on i agree and i agree and continue now in this step we are just going to big query and run the queries add some permission basically create some tables and that we'll be using in last step also so just stay tuned first of all here you have to just come over here i agree agree and continue now from the search box you have to just open the big query so you can see the search box over available over here now simply here from the search box you have to just type big query and then open the big query like this let me show you how you have to do here you have to just click on the untitled query okay just click on the untitled query and for running the query come back again to the lab instructions so just wait come over here select this query run over here and just wait for it to get saved okay now here we have to save it and this is for a data set okay this is for a data set wait for the data to get load now here finally the data is loaded now we are just moving ahead okay so once our query is completed you can see over here query is successfully completed now we have to just save it if save view click on it and select demo data set now for the table name come over here select it make sure the full stop is not added or any extra space once it is saved now we have to just click on this plus icon and run another query for view b so just run it now once the query is visible you have to just save it click on save save view again select the data set for the name it's here just select it and then just click on save now once it is saved we have to just check the score for this particular task and then we have to assign the im permission so just click on it just wait for some time and from here click on sharing authorize views and here you have to just copy this one over here from here to here and just paste it over here and then just select it and click on add authorization now once you see currently authorized it is updated now for b basically for b many of you are facing some kind of issue and i am glad that i faced this issue too so that i can address you so here you can see by default if it is showing authorized view then you have to just select the b1 and in case it is not showing try again following the method and you can see it's still not getting in that case what you need to do you need to just try it still not visible then you have to just refresh the browser window and it will be available again okay because there is some glitches and google is unable to handle such request because of large number of participants so that's why we have to just follow and try our braid now just again try sharing paste over here copy it and just paste over here carefully okay select everything and if you are unable to see you can just type authorize view b also like this and just authorize you can see both both are added click on close now check the score for this particular task the task may take time to update the score so do not worry about it 
wait for some more time and then again check the score you can see these two are added successfully now we have to add permissions to each view so just copy this click on the first one and sometimes what happens you are unable to find option of adding permissions over here if you click on the share you can see there is no permission over here in that case you have to just click on it and you can see it's not there now click on the three dot share manage permission this is how you have to manage the labs and now you have to add principal enter the principal over here set the role data viewer and save it always confirm the role from here also now for b basically for b copy it click on authorize view b then again click on three dots share manage permissions add the principal over here paste the principal select the role again it's same and then just save it cross verify the role because sometimes what happens they update the role also so you need to cross verify from the lab instruction now wait for some time because they have mentioned it may take few minutes for these policies to get changed now let's try to check the score if you are unable to get the score wait for some more time okay just wait for some more time now we have to just try with customer a okay you have to close this data sharing partner project console so just close it now you have to open customer a project so right click over here and open incognito window now here you can see you can clearly see there are different username and pass so just select it like this paste over here and then similarly with the pass also now these two steps are little bit tricky and very easy and many of you are facing issue because of this sign in issue you have to close the browser and then again open incognito to get the score for these two tasks once you complete the customer a then you have to open for customer b also like this only now from the search box just type big query and then you have to just run a query which is mentioned on the lab instruction only so from here just click on untitled query just click on the untitled query over here wait for the page to fully load it will take some time now come back again to the lab instruction select the query and run it it will take some time now we have to save this to a table you have to create a table also just save save view select the data set a paste the table name and just save it you are done with this task now open the looker studio now here sometimes what happens you are unable to just set yes or no in that case you have to just zoom out now click on blank report select your country and for company name you can write any name there is no issue just click on i agree continue and here only if you are unable to see this just try to zoom out and click on continue now again click on blank report now from here you have to just select the big query okay just select the big query over here click on authorize select your student id now from here you can clearly see they have mentioned what we have to just select the recent project customer data set and table so it's by default here select it select it and a table okay carefully select a table not info select it add add to report okay just add to report just come to the lab instructions and check the score for customer a data set now it's time for displaying insights for customer b now simply close this incognito page come over here open the b console and use the b username and pass okay this is the important thing you need to just close the window many of you are trying to just click on add account like we do for gmail you don't have to do that step you have to just close the window and just sign in individually and complete individual steps now again you have to open the big query and perform the same step one more important thing if you are new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel and also check the description box for skill badges pre assessment skill badges and lab free courses too also do join our telegram channel now we are opening the big query now here we'll run the query again and add a b table okay so how we have to do do not worry everything will be covered in this video here click on untitled query come to the lab instructions again select this query paste over here if it is not visible basically you are unable to paste then just refresh the browser now from here save save view 
select the data set for the table name come over here select this table name paste over here save it now this thing is done now we have to again open the looker studio incognito window just open the looker studio incognito window this blank template select your country and i repeat company name is anyone you can write anything in the company name i agree continue now if you are unable to see this continue zoom out click on continue how to zoom out you have to use the mouse wheel or you can just use control and just mouse wheel okay now here just select the big query again you have to just authorize like we did previously you have to repeat the same steps over here the only difference is that we have to just select project id customer b data set and table do not select the info one just b table add add to report and that's how we'll done with the lab guys if you face any issue do let me know in the comment section do check the playlist do check the master sheet do subscribe the channel and thank you guys have a great day ahead if you want to enable this check my progress i have already shared it is present in the description box of this video thank you guys have a great day ahead